So this is the eGel uh, Labcast. I show you how to load the eGel. Uh, you will see the eGel in cartridges in this container. You open it up. Um, you'll see this is the gel. You'll see a little cover on top of here that that's, you can't see it now. But you take that cover off, and that will expose the wells. And this is where you pipette into the wells. <coughs> I get my pipette, my tip. Then I'll pipette my DNA sample, um, and then you know I'll pipette into the the wells. Of course, I'm showing it face up this way, but it should be flat on the surface. Um, once you're ready, then you'll notice that they're sort of a copper and a silver lead there. This is the e-gel. And what you have to do is you don't want this or this to get ripped. So when you insert it into the e-gel, <clears throat> you wanna make sure it comes in contact. You'll see the sort of metal components under there. So you put that side in first, make sure it touches, it's in place, and then you click, clip it down. And if it's plugged in, you'll see a red light. If you're if you're using DNA samples, you just press the 30 minute button. It'll turn green, and then 30 minutes later, it'll start to beep. Um, you'll see the DNA samples going down, um, and then it'll beep very loudly when it's done. Um, however, sometimes uh, you can still see the bands um, even if it doesn't finish the 30 minutes. So as long as um, there's some separation, we might be able to cut it off after 30 minutes, uh, before 30 minutes. Recall we have to expose the DNA to UV light to see the DNA bands, and that's what this machine is right here. So you put the e-gel cartridge into the machine, then you close the lid, and you turn the switch on to expose the UV light, and you can take a picture of your DNA bands there. Be careful not to stare into the light, because uh, UV light can be damaging to your eyes with long-term exposure.